Hey guys, Yonsu here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first impressions on the vegan Dr. Morton's. Um, I believe they're the 1941 ones. Hold up. Correction, they are the 19... Nope, they're not even 19. They're, they're the 1460. I think that's a, the code for them. Um, I thought they were like by the year, but never mind. So they are the Dr. Martin's um, 1460. Um, this is the box that they came in. So I did order these on Amazon with Amazon Prime from Dr. Martin's. Um, so they are from the actual Dr. Martin creation, creator, industry, or whatever you want to call it. So okay, these are the boots themselves. Um, let me just give you a little spin-off, sexy boots. So I always thought these were like really nice shoes, this, this style I've always loved. I've wanted them since like my freshman year of high school, but I was never really able to like, afford them. I mean, it's not that I wasn't able to afford them, I did eventually have $130, which is like the price. But I just was like, do I really need these? And I just figured that I might as well get them now that I'm like, already older. Life's too short, you know? So let me just talk about these shoes. So for the first, they're okay. Let me just talk about a couple complaints that I have. So this shoe right here, um, I don't know if you can see, but it has scratches right here. And I thought at first it was dirt, you know? Like I wore more of these once. Um, and like I, I know that your shoe scratch when, um, so you know, you obviously like kick your feet like that, but I don't do that. Um, so I have no idea how this happened. This one's perfectly fine. It doesn't have any scratches whatsoever, but this one does. I don't know why. Um, I do know that it came with a little scratch once I opened it right here. I don't know if you can see that there too. It's like right here, this little scratch. Um, right here. Um, and it's just like scratched up right here too. And this is, I thought it was dirt at first, but it is not dirt. It's actual like the paint came off. And like I said, I've only worn these once. So um, I'm kind of disappointed in that, but it's nothing, it's not a huge deal because like you, I can always like just put that, you know, that black um, shoe paint, so it's whatever, but it still is kind of like, you know, they're pretty expensive to scratch so easy. Um, I did get these actually on sale though, so I can't really complain about the price. Um, they were like $90 um, out of like 130 Another kind of complaint I have, but it's, it's just me, I'm, I mean, any shoes, like especially boots, they're pretty hard to break in. But these shoes, I kid you not, I wore these yesterday at school, and I commute from school like 50 miles a day, so I couldn't come back home, you know, change shoes. But I wore short socks, and that is the worst thing I could have ever done in my life. Like honestly, I wore short socks, like ankle socks, with these boots, brand new, trying to bring them in. It's not the best idea. My feet were killing me. Um, like the inside was rubbing against my skin, and they're super hard too. So like. It just, it hurt. I was like crying. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Well, not literally crying, but I was telling, I was complaining all day, honestly. I was telling my friends, I was like, dude, I can't even. I was walking like, like a penguin. Because that's how bad it was. And like with short socks, it made it so much worse. It just, <laughs> it made it so much, it made it so much worse. Not worth, <laughs> um, fill out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, so I made it so much worse because I had short socks and they were super thin too. So I can't, you know, I can't even, that's what people say nowadays, I can't even. Um, but I was definitely trying to put like, you know, I'm going to spit. I was trying to put like, you know, toilet paper in my shoe and that hurt. So I was like, no, I can't because my feet were really sensitive and they were just irritated rubbing on this all day. Kind of had a rash, but I mean, today my feet are fine. Like it doesn't hurt. So I'm, next time I'm for sure going to wear long, thick socks and look how pretty it is <laughs> but yeah so I mean so far honestly these shoes feel really durable like I mean it's just that little scratch thing that I kind of was disappointed about um this is like the the toe or the toe I guess the toe part is really really hard so that's good and up here too like right here it's kind of hard so I can feel that um so if you have a high like a high arch you might want to have like a bigger size so I did get this my size because like you know it's obviously I thought it was best for me and you know, once you break them in, I know they get a little bit looser. So yeah, so, um, and they don't run like in halves. They're kind of like 10 or not, or 11 or nine. Yeah, so I would definitely give these a try. I'm gonna be obviously wearing them more during the winter because that's what I kind of need them for, the winter. And you know, I'm hoping they're waterproof. I didn't really look in depth like 
so I didn't really look into them, like, um, if they were waterproof or not, but I just thought they were cool. I just thought they were cool, so I'm like, I'm gonna get them. But yeah, so I definitely am enjoying them so far, other than that whole painful experience and um, the boot scratching thing. But I mean, it's whatever, honestly. Um, once I'm once they're broken in, they're probably fine. Um, I hear that these last for like a long time, even the vegan ones, that they're pretty good. So I'm just gonna try them on and just keep wearing them, you know. So that was my video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I am trying to make more videos, but I just feel like I don't know what to talk about. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.